2015 NBA Finals are finally set, and we are here to bring you the 2015 NBA Finals preview. Joined by Ben Mankiewicz, Drew Carter, Drew as always. Uh, Drew, from Ohio. The land. The land. Cleveland. Uh, and a big-time Cleveland Cavaliers fan. You have been waiting your whole life for another chance at a championship. I have been. It's been a long road, you know. Uh, I, uh, it's the not, first one, you, you, you knew you weren't winning. I like, mean, yeah. yeah it was we, just it, great to be it was just, <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was just, We were just excited to be in the, yeah, yeah. In the dance. But, uh, you know, I have been a, f a lifelong fan. You know, there's no bandwagon here. It's, uh, you know, <laughs> I have Mark Price jersey still in my house, you know, <laughs> Brad Doherty posters. So it's kind of like, Finally, Cleveland can get a championship in one major sport in our city. And, uh, Craig Elo, Larry oh, Nance. Oh, yeah, come on. This is yeah. my team. Hot Rod Williams. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> I know them all. I had them all. I had all the cards, so I'm just excited. We are all excited because this is the series that everybody did want going into the For finals. Sure. Uh, I'm sorry, the NBA playoffs in general. Uh, looking back on the Western Conference and Eastern Conference Finals, they weren't as exciting as we would hope. No, they were terrible. They would have been. Yeah. Uh, and Ben, I know you've mentioned on previous clips before that you know even as a diehard basketball fan, following it your whole life, yeah, I run out. I, I run out of gas. Bit. It's yes. a lot of games. Like I mean, I, I wouldn't if the if the Wizards were in it. You know, the Bullets were playing. Obviously, I'd, right. So I get why you would. But I like tend to. <laughs> Like, you know, I'm like, okay, I got it. But these we've watched a lot of games. Lot of games. And I, I usually run out about, like, w game one or two of the conference finals where I'm like, okay. ah, all right. It leads us into the matchups. We have the Warriors, who are coming off of Steph Curry's MVP campaign, and he sure as hell looks like an MVP, against LeBron James, who was the MVP, could have been should have been the year. MVP, tech, or could have been the MVP this year, sure. and is putting up amazing numbers Statistically, anyone who voted for LeBron, you couldn't argue with them. Right. And, uh, but when a team goes 67 and 15 and yeah. have the kind of player that Steph Curry is on the team, I get why he would also be the MVP. My, my only argument was just the fact that how he changed the team that got a, a brand new team halfway through the season, and they just like how he can just evolve a team, make a mm -hmm. team so much better. Right, like if you were going to vote, like, is it, you I know you can't vote halfway. Like MVP is the whole season, so yes. that's why I vote Steph Curry too. But the fact that he took a team where you just basically get half the Knicks. You know, I guess you could say, and then all of a sudden they just evolved. And also, that counts what he did in the playoffs. Like, like we didn't know how well they. I mean, they played well the second half, but like now you've seen it in the playoffs. You're like, yeah. wow, LeBron is really right. like it yeah. feels. It does feel different. Like now the case for LeBron has gotten stronger. Right, since right, right. The playoffs right. One of the worst things in the world is watching when James Mozgov, Shump, and Smith are on the court together. All I'm looking at is going, oh my god, in 2010, this could have been. Mm -hmm. My Knicks team. Mm -hmm. We are essentially putting together what would have been the mecca of basketball, hopefully winning the two championships that they, that LeBron won at least with Miami. So here's the interesting question, because the Warriors are not a big team. They are a fast team, but they're mentally tough, but physically you can't stop LeBron from driving to the basket. He's averaging 14 and a half drives per game, and he's scoring extremely efficiently on every single one of them. But who should the Warriors have guard LeBron or at least try to take on that assignment? Well, I mean, it's going to be Harrison Barnes. I'm sure Green will have him sometimes. I'm sure Curry will be on him sometimes. And, and Thompson. Right. If Diana, the other, of course, the big factor will Thompson play. And there's going to be a lot of help defense. Yeah, there's going to be a lot, a lot <laughs> of help, sure. and nobody's going to guard him. Nobody can guard him for the full 40 minutes, 38 minutes, whatever it is that Le LeBron plays. But, you know, uh, Barnes is, 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 is quick enough. He doesn't seem like he's physical enough. Right. But, yeah, I mean... The Warriors have been a really good defensive team, but they, they have a good defensive scheme, and LeBron's going to get his. But we saw in the previous series that if LeBron doesn't get help, then it's somewhat of the same situations when he went to the finals, what, back in 2007 or yeah, whatever that first the, appearance first. was. He does not have the personnel that the Warriors have. Uh, right. But these are... They're, they're quality NBA and it's players. Like, okay, it's not now. D. Wade and, you know, Chris Bosh, but it's right. like, like you said, there's quality NBA players where you're right. like, okay... They're cast-offs, supposedly, from the Knicks and certain teams, but you're like, these guys were putting up numbers, well, and you know they're defensively, like, solid. People wanted Shumpert. Like, people, yeah. other people Absolutely. wanted Shumpert. And to get Shumpert, they had to take Smith. But you forget about Smith that, like, J.R. Smith on a bad team is the, is the prototype of the ridiculous NBA player. Right. J.R. Smith on a good team. All of a sudden, becomes right. an interesting yeah, player. Yeah, he won Sixth Man of the Year on the Knicks, right, right, and right, when right, he right. gets hot, you can't stop him. He accounted for all, right. all of the Cleveland bench points when he scored twenty eight. According points. to J.R. Smith, the key to J.R. Smith is don't guard J.R. Smith. Right, he's like, <laughs> he, he likes it. He's <laughs> like, he's like, he's like, well, right, the yeah. uncontested shots. Yeah. And speaking of uncontested shots, the Warriors pull off the most uncontested threes in the league this year. They're averaging eleven and a half threes a game. 
accounting for a lot of points. Of course, the hot shooting of Klay Thompson and Steph Curry. Uh, what's interesting about this matchup is that you have, again, a transition offense that's a fast team and can get to the basket in a, I want to say relatively flashy, but make it look easy fashion. They're not the Spurs where they're looking for an extra pass, 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 but they find a way to at least get to the wings and get their shooters open. And this is a team that... Overall, we haven't seen a jump-shooting team win an NBA championship. Right. We also haven't seen a jump-shooting team with seven shooters. Yeah. One of the things that can flip this entire series on its head is the idea that we know articles are being written and the tape is being watched that LeBron James is having his worst shooting playoff performance. Mm -hmm. He cannot hit from the mid-range, and his three-point yeah. shot has been atrocious. So my question, I guess, then becomes, can that actually continue let's say over the course of six or seven games, because if those shots start falling, LeBron's going to, and it's funny because people say it's like in 2011, the Heat got dirked because Dirk Nowitzki was not being stopped by anything or any object, any person, yeah. nothing. Those finals, that of entire course. playoff run was him. If the Warriors get LeBron, is anybody really surprised? Because no. like, as you said before, they're not nobodies. Mon Shumpert's a great wing defender. Also, we, we're literally shots. leaving out one of the 12 best players in the NBA. <laughs> I, I mean, they got a, got a guy on that team. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. the only thing is you got to be worried is that you do have a banged-up Kyrie. Irving. Well, here's the thing. Here's the most important storyline in this series, to me, without question, by far. Yes, they could get LeBron. If LeBron hits 50% of his threes and continues to do everything else, then Cavaliers go to win the series, right? Sure. Yeah. But, uh, and that might happen. He's yeah. the best player playing, right? Yeah. Kyrie Irving versus Klay Thompson. Like, I don't mean them going head-to-head. -head. I mean... Concussion for concussion? <laughs> who plays and who plays well? Right. Because suppose, you look, concussions are weird. Prime example, like Wells Walker, you know, they kind of right. see him out longer. So Clay Thompson, they're talking about eight days, he'll be back to normal. Like, he was bleeding out of his ear. You don't know. His father was driving him home. He said he had to stop and, and throw, throw up. up. So you know these concussions. Like, it, that, that's a pretty serious concussion. So so. You can't be sure about that, and we can't be sure about Kyrie Irving's True. effectiveness. So. Uh, everyone watching this hopes that they both play and they're both effective. That's what right. we all want to see. It's the second best player on both teams. But if Irving is effective and Thompson can't play, well, all of a sudden right. I think the Cavs will win. And if Thompson can play and Irving isn't effective, as, as much as LeBron lifted that team without Irving, right. I don't think he lifts him past the Warriors. But Tristan Thompson has been an offensive rebounding monster. Basically, from the second half of the season all the way until I, now. I, th I see the offense, Can't give the second chance. I try not to analyze games as a fan, but... I can't help it. But that said, I feel like offensive rebounding, specifically offensive rebounding on threes that lead to second threes, mm -hmm. is just, there's nothing more critical than uh, that moment. Because you know when heart. you miss a three in the NBA, the likelihood that the other team scores is huge, right? Yes. right? Because you're, you're scattered, they can run the break, they're in transition, you're not getting your defense right. set, they're looking at an open three, they're looking at a layup, they're looking at a productive mm -hmm. possession most of the time. If you can not only prevent that, but get the rebound, and then the defense has scrambled in, and then you're looking, you're going back out to, to J.R. Smith or Kyrie Irving or somebody James else. Jones in the corner. Or, or like Jones, somebody know. open for yeah. three, and then you turn. That's a regular five-point swing, sometimes right. a six-point swing. Tristan Thompson was huge, huge. huge. I, f and, I feel like, like you said, he's going to be a major factor mm -hmm. in the fact that he, I am I, I totally think talking it, myself into a Cavaliers fan. I, I, <laughs> totally I think he's going to be – I think he's going to uh, – Right now, I think he's going to abuse Draymond Green. I swear, he's going to abuse well, Draymond Green on the board. It's funny you mention that, because I've been calling Tristan Thompson the Draymond Green of the East. No, mm -hmm. but he's better. Tough call. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying rebounding-wise. I'm not saying, like, scoring-wise. Okay. I'm not saying overall. Like, saying, I'm just Draymond saying, Green plays has gone to Duke and not Michigan State, you wouldn't be so quick to blast <laughs> Draymond Green. <laughs> Speaking of betting, yeah, so I'm the lines. curious your thoughts on this. Read us the lines, and uh, let's get into some NBA Finals MVP bets. So the Warriors are a fairly prohibitive favorite, and this, they should be. They won 67 games. The last time a team won 67 games, they were the Dallas Mavericks, and they lost in the first round. Um, <laughs> so uh, the, uh, uh, the Warriors won 67 games, and let's be honest, they didn't have a very tough time. Like, we think, oh, there were moments when they, they, they pretty much cruised through the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Little tiny wrinkles in a game yeah. here and there, but they are uh, at 5-12. to 12 which means basically you got to bet $240 to win 100 on the Warriors. And then if you look at the Cavaliers, they're basically 2 to 1 coming in right now at 19 to 10. And and I think right now the attractiveness for me of making that bet is is that I'll take my chances on LeBron if Thompson plays. If Klay yeah. Thompson doesn't play, then the then the Cavaliers at 2 to 1 are unquestionably right. the better bet and I think he's likely to play. Most people who have eight days off before a concussion when they don't have a long concussion history right. probably play. play. Yeah. 
but we don't know. Let's see the NBA Finals MVP chart. Mm -hmm. Ben, pick one. Drew, pick one. I'll take one. Ben, we'll start with you. Or who do you think is the best bet on this one? Let's leave Curry and James out of it. Well, I mean, LeBron at, at two to one. If the Cavaliers win, he's the he's the he's the MVP. And there is some possibility, of course that even if the Warriors win, that that weird thing happens. If the Warriors, with their team game, and Curry doesn't play great, but LeBron averages 36 yeah. points a game and gets five triple-doubles, you could see the moment. He's almost averaging a triple-double now. You could <laughs> see the moment where LeBron gets it anyway. I would say it's Irving, yeah. because the, the, uh, maybe the Cavs pick. win, and LeBron's good. But Irving, you know, this is a guy, suppose Irving throws up three 35 points. He can do it. Yeah. He can do it. Yeah. So I would say at 12-1, to 1, that's your best. I take it 80% Irving over yeah. most of these guys on the list to be MVP. Even if he's not fully healthy, I think he's a better player than... Uh, Here's the guys. worst bet. Draymond Green should be 66-1, to 1, <laughs> not 16-1. to 1. Like 16-1 to 1 for Draymond oh, wow. Green? Like, is that right? And they got J.R. Smith at 66 That's a terrible <laughs> bet. Don't not bet it because you need much better payoff. Yeah. Well, there you have it. NBA Finals Aussies. 2015 preview. We know you're rooting for the Cavs. We know you're rooting for. I think I'm about to be rooting for the whoever Cavs. Whoever your money is on, I'm rooting for the Cavs for the sole reason I put the money down before oh. LeBron was there, uh, not just because Drew was here. Yes, yeah, so uh, you got great. You, you got great. So odds I have some good, uh, good luck. Odds. Hopefully, good fortune going forward. Uh, leave all your thoughts in the comment section below on anything we discussed in this clip. There's too many questions to ask. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to follow Drew on Twitter at, at it's Drewski. At it's Drewski. Yeah, at, you're right. Three at Ben Mag 77 at Jason Rubin 91. We'll see you next week.